Hello there, and welcome back to this Project and Enterprise Java course. Um, we are approaching the end of this course, so we might, we're might probably going to finish it in this lesson or the next one. If um, I'll, add, uh, I'll add another one if um, we don't have time. But let's go ahead and actually get into this. So where we left off, we got our uh, set ready uh, with the friends. This, a set is just a data structure that doesn't allow... Um, that doesn't allow um, repeating values like the same value. You can't have it two values of the same same value. I keep saying value. Uh, and um, so yeah, it's kind of like a list. So just think of it as a list for our purposes. Um, so let's go ahead and actually uh, implement the set in our user DAO. We're going to actually create the methods with which we can use them. So let's do first of all public. Um, public what is it? it's going to be a set right yeah so it's going to be a set public set um i think it's i think it's actually no let's do a public void update here so i'm i'm, I'm trying to think about the uh, method that we're going to need so uh, let's do public void update and let's just do session dot begin transaction session dot update and let's actually um, do user user here session dot no not is connected we're gonna have session dot update and user and let's just do session dot get transaction dot commit there we go all right and um, I think in theory that should be all that we need yeah that should be all that we need all right let's uh, save this up let's go ahead and go to go to to we actually delete this import here go to um register action wait no where we? add friend action there we go um so here in add friend action we're gonna go, go gonna go ahead and implement is um is if current no wait i'm sorry no, no, no. Um, I, I, I need to think about how exactly we're going to do this. So what we're going to do here is um, if. Oh, OK, OK, OK. I, I thought about it. I figured it out. And um, I, I think I know what we're going to do. So here we're going to do is a uh, for user you in current user dot get friends. Whoops. Um, dot get friends. There we go. So here, what we're gonna do? What? 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 Um, cannot convert element from type object to user. Okay, that makes sense. So I don't know. Let's just. I guess let's just. Okay. Um, and get friends. Let's actually change this to. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Let's go to user here, and then in get friends, we're gonna do set um, user right here. Since we, we do need this, it makes it just a little bit, a little bit more organized. There we go. Okay, so now that we have that done, um, we can go ahead and implement this. So here, what we're going to do is do um, if you dot get username dot equals uh, users. Dot get. Uh, no, wait, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. Dot equals users dot get get um, zero. There we go. And then yeah, okay. Um, uh, you'll see what we're uh, what we're doing in a second here. Users dot get zero dot get username. There we go. <laughs> all these um, all these uh. What are these parentheses? They're, they got me confused there. Um, we're going to add field error. We're going to add field error to name and um, name already your friend. There we go. And return as well. Okay, so essentially here all we're doing is um, if uh, in the, we, we get a list of, uh, actually uh, we need a return here as well. And then here is also. So uh, when we get the list of users by the name of the user that he wants to add here, and then if that list of users actually matches any of the names, uh, and I mean, since uh, our names all have to be the same, um, 
So we, we will in theory only get one user or, or none. So one or none or no users. If we get no users, then um, you know this error will be thrown. And um, uh, if we get a user that's already our friend, then it will be equal to um, one of the users in our friends list. And so we will actually add the field error. So it's already your friend, and so it'll return. So that's just that's just how that'll that's just the, how that'll work. So um, we can actually go ahead and at this point, no, 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 we can't. We can't actually test this yet, or can we? Oh, no, no, we can't test this yet because we have to add the actual logic to um, logic to add the user. So do that. Let's do right here in user DAO. Uh, we're gonna have a list user users equals DAO dot get user by name name. This is gonna be the the user that we're actually going to be adding as a friend and then let's do user current user equals uh, user session dot get uh, it's going to be current user I think current user there we go is that is that correct yeah yeah it's correct all right let's add the cast to a uh, user since we do need that um, all right, and so here let's go ahead and do um, set uh, user friends equals current user dot get friends. There we go. All right, let's import a set here. There we go. Um, so now let's go ahead and do uh, friends dot add. And we're going to add users dot get zero. There we go. And then let's do current user dot set friends friends. Now, in theory, we don't actually have to do it since um, friends is going to it's essentially here when we get current user dot get friends. We're not really taking it out of friends. We're just adding a um, a we're just pointing to friends. And so we're just adding a user. So it should save automatically. But in order to con uh, reduce confusion, and just make things a little bit simpler for all of us just to do set friends. I mean, realistically, we're not going to be deploying this to production, so it doesn't really matter. Um, we're, we're, we're not going to, um, I mean, maybe it'll increase my electricity bill since I do have to, my computer does have to, you know, work the processor a little bit more than, um, than uh, if we didn't have that. But I mean, at this point, it's just, you know, this is just, this is, this is at a point where it really doesn't matter. Um, it really doesn't make it any difference at all. So now we're just going to do dao.update and insert the user in there. So current user. This is going to update the actual um, the actual user. <coughs> and then dao.close with our new friend. All right, there we go. So let's test this out. Let's uh, run this. Or can we actually? Yeah, yeah, we can. We can. Let's uh, run this on Tomcat. And this should, in theory, work. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping because, whoops, um, it already, it's already running. I guess, will it reload? Um, no, 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 it won't reload. We have to reload it ourselves. There we go. Um, so, so again, I, I, I really did all this sort of just from memory, so I don't really know if this logic will work. Um, usually, it doesn't work on the first try, but you know, here's to hoping. It does. So let's open up our browser here. Go to social network. All right. So now we can go to our terminal and let's just use our Seni here. Uh, our Seni and password utility. Oh, well, well, well we got a null pointer exception. Oh, I know. I know. I know the null pointer exception here. Um, I already figured this out. So the or, or no wait no I no I didn't never mind um here uh oh okay I okay so we're getting the no pointer exception on the user session so apparently it doesn't actually um doesn't actually <laughs> instantiate the user session that's odd that it does that let's take a look here so we got a private map string object oh okay okay uh, I can't believe I I I I, I cannot believe. Um, I forgot this implements session aware. Um, yeah, yeah, that's just that's the, the 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 type of stuff I do. So 
let's uh, go ahead and add on implement methods. Let's take this right here. Um, go to uh, add friend action as well. Also add this implement session aware. Add the unimplement methods as well. Um, extend action. Uh, whoops. Uh, let's do implements session aware here. There we go. And let's uh, add an implement methods. There we go. Okay, it's just gonna the, the method to set the session. So it's just um, if you don't already have it, it'll it'll set it there. But you know, it's just not really important. It's, okay, there we go. So now that we have this, um, it it it, sh it should reload. Um, there we go. It reloaded. So now we can go social network. Uh, we should actually receive another an, another error though. In theory, perhaps not. We'll see. Um, utility. Yep, okay, so we got another error. So this time we're getting an error here in the login action. Uh, what? We're, we're still getting an error. We are still getting an error in user session. Let me actually go ahead and um, implement the session aware methods. I, I, now that I think about it, I do actually need to implement it. I need to do this dot session. Um, user session equals session. There we go. So, okay, that was another doofus move here. Um, I actually made the set session... Um, you know, implement it says session, added the unimplement method, but then I didn't actually implement it. So that is that's kind of hilarious. The amount of the amount of stupid stuff I do. Um, this dot uh, this dot user session equals session. The amount of stupid stuff I do, honestly, at this point, is just it's it's amazing. It's amazing how long I could use a framework and then just make these super silly mistakes. All right, there we go. Um, social network. Um, any utility. There we go. All right, so it's it's done that. So now we can add a friend. Let's add a username. Um, what do we what 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 did we actually bah bah b a h okay so we got the we got the null pointer exception I know why we got this exception this is actually because um or no no it isn't no it's not it's not because uh, so we're not actually utilizing that is or are we um, okay so um, we should have gotten a different exception but we got this exception as well. So that is always that is always good to know. And uh, namely, that said, we're probably I, I I guess we're getting don't entirely know exactly. I'm actually going to take a look at what the problem is. Most likely, I made a stupid mistake as always. Uh, let me take a look. Okay, so after doing some debugging, I realized my mistake, and I was completely right. It was just because I. Uh, did something very quite stupid. So right here in user session, I uh, do get current user, but in login action, I set the user session user as just user. So I was having conflicting names there. Well, not really conflicting, just different names there. So we can change this to user, and then we need to change this right here to user as well. So now we're good to go, and we can actually go ahead and make sure this works. Um, I haven't actually test, test, tested it any further, so, I mean, maybe we'll have some other, because um, in theory, we should actually be getting an error, a hibernate error, where um, since it current, uh, the friends, get friends method doesn't actually work, but um, we're most likely going to get that error later on when we start working with it. Um, so, let's go and actually utility. So, we need, what we need to actually do is actually add a list of friends, a friends list here as well. That's the last thing we have to do, and then we're good to go with the application. And when we're writing that, we, we will most likely get that error. So let's add the username back. Uh, okay, no, we actually, remember remember that error that I was just talking about just now? Well, here we go, we just got it. Um, so it's a problem uh, lazily initializing the collection. And uh, to fix this, it's actually pretty simple. So all you have to do is go to uh, user.java here. And here in uh, one too many, we're just gonna do uh, fetch equals fetch 
uh, type dot eager. There we go. And it actually imported there it, uh, for us automatically there. All right, and there we go. So that's, <laughs> that's all we have to do. Now it'll automatically update our, um, you know, initialize our um, friends uh, set when we actually get it from the database. So let's go and actually, um, now that I think about it, you know, it, it actually probably is good that, that, that they actually don't initialize it automatically since just because we get a, a user from the database doesn't necessarily mean that we actually want to initialize the whole, to get the whole entire friends list. So I guess it doesn't make sense. So not really, not really um, bad of Hibernate developers to do. So I guess, yeah. Okay. Um, username, bah, let's submit. And there we go. All right. So now it has added our friend, bah. So now if we go to our uh, terminal here, I don't know why I use the name bah. It's so weird. Um, we can now do um, select all from users, users. And we get user ID one, friends ID two. So this just means that the uh, username with the ID one, Arseni, has a friend to utility. So now <coughs> if we go ahead and try to add um, Arseni here, for example, we're going to get, um, you get, you cannot add yourself error. And then if we go ahead and add, um, let's see what else, if you can add yourself, if we try to add back at this point again, we get uh, already your friend. So that actually works all correctly. That's very good. Um, next time we're going to tackle adding a list here of users. And then after that, we're done with the uh, project and we're good to go. So uh, generally a pretty good episode. Uh, we found out quite a bit about Hibernate and how to use, um, actually, no, we didn't. We didn't really. We 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 just we just generally find out how long about how to make applications. So that was already that was all pretty pretty fun to do, and uh, the application actually shaping up to be quite quite nice. So yeah. Anyway, um, without further ado, I'll see you next time. We're going to implement the list of of friends, and uh, that should all be pretty fun. I'll see you next time. Till soon.